Hello, guys. Hi, Hi. Um, How are you doing? You okay? Um, first of all, um, if we could just get your uh, thoughts, uh, Pep, on the news that uh, Leroy Sane is going to be leaving the club. Looks like it's not already done. There's still some little issues, but looks like it's going to to go to Munich. Wish him all the best. Thank you. Appreci give him a big, big thanks for uh, these uh, years together. And uh, wish him all the best in his new chapter in a fantastic club like Bayern Munich. Is it a big disappointment for you that a player of that talent has decided that his future is lying elsewhere? Uh, he want to leave soon. Everyone has his own life. He decided to move on. So, absolutely not. So, I would have loved to stay here, but uh, he decided to move on because he believed he would be better and happier. So, there's nothing to say. Uh, you said uh, last week that you thought the, the FA Cup games would be good preparation for you, looking forward towards the uh, Real Madrid game in the Champions League. But does this game against Liverpool also present a, a great test in that respect? Well, Fraser, I think I was clear and a lot of people can understand when you have three games in a period uh, for one week, so we don't have recovery in the period after two months uh, off. So the important was a Newcastle game. Now, until the game against Arsenal and especially Madrid, we have a lot of games, a lot of uh, time to think about it in the Premier League. And of course, tomorrow is an important game. We want to do a good performance and try to to take a result and thinking about the next one, Southampton, to arrive against Arsenal in Madrid, the best conditions. And in the best conditions to play against these important teams uh, is to play good the Premier League first to qualification for the Champions League. Like right now, we are not there. So that is what you have to do. Okay. Uh, Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of years ago, you were fined for wearing your yellow ribbon. Uh, are you a little bit confused about what you are allowed to wear and what's political and what's not political? It's a question for the Premier League and for the people who ban me. So I think all the humanitarian causes are must be defended. In my yellow ribbon, it was for did for the political prisoners that are still in jail, um, being accused or being judged uh, 12 and 13 years to ask to the people to to vote. So um, I'm not allowed to yellow ribbon, but I all the time I use and bring the yellow ribbon like it was now for the Black, Black Lives Matter. Uh, on all the causes to make our society better. I think every human being has to try to, to be there. Just just on the football, obviously you haven't won the league title this year, but the previous two years you were outstanding, 100 points, 99 points. Is tomorrow a chance to prove you are as good as Liverpool or don't you need to do that? No, in sport you have to prove every time. Uh, we are incredibly satisfied with what we have done, what we are doing. But uh, the athletes never are, uh, it's, it's never enough. So, so past is past. What we have done remains in our soul, in our memories. But uh, the show must go on in the terms that uh, the new chapters in our lives as a professional, as a human, as a person, you have to live it. So leave about the memories. It's nice for a, you know for a glass of wine for your friends, families. But uh, uh, we have to. Sh the, the people will say, "I don't have to show anything." What we have done, I'm not completely agree. I'm completely not agree with this sentence. I'm completely the opposite. Every time you have to do it and do it and do it again. Okay, uh, Mandy Henry from Premier League Productions. Hi there, Pet. Hello, Mandy. Hi. Um, Pet, many players say that they learn sometimes more from the challenging moments in their career. And obviously, your side haven't won the Premier League this season. So, what do you hope that your players learn from this season's experience in the league? First of all, that there was a, a team, it was better. We play in a standing level, 
in every single game. And uh, and um, and they have to to do more. So football life is the sports helps you to understand is the incredible part of our education to accept that another one was better. And you have to to try to reduce this gap that this year happened. The, from the last game Newcastle, from tomorrow, for the future, for this seven, eight or nine or ten games that we are left next season, work harder and do it better. And what do you feel you can do better? What was the difference between the two sides this season? Many details, not just one. I think we are not far away that uh, that we are as a team, that we were as a team, but we have to do a little bit more, but in many aspects, not just in one. Okay, we go to Ian Abrahams from TalkSport. Ian? Hi, Pep. How are you? Hi. Hi, Um, Would you, obviously, throughout your career, would you say it's harder to retain the title than win it? So Liverpool have done really well this year to win the title, but like you've done with City, it's much harder, isn't it, second time around to defend it? Uh, Yeah, in principle. If your approach is correct, should be not more difficult. Um, but of course, the winner also want to be beaten, and and the opponents want to show that uh, they are good too. And uh, yeah, uh, we are going to 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 make uh, Liverpool uh, feel next season. So and I think the other opponents that. Uh, Try to fight with them for the next next chapters in the Premier League. Andy Hampson. Hello, Pep. Now, we've seen in the past in this country uh, managers at the, the top of the game have a really fierce and, and at times nasty rivalry, but that, that's certainly not the case between you, yourself and Jurgen, is it? You, have, you seem to have a lot of respect for each other. What is it you, you respect so much? What are the greatest qualities of Jurgen that you, you respect so much? I think as a human being first, even I don't know him quite well, we never had dinner together, but yeah, once, <laughs> but uh, not much. And uh, uh, and I admire him, the way the, uh, his teams, not just now here in Liverpool, when he was in Dortmund. Uh, I think it's uh, this type of play of football that uh, his teams produce always is a benefit for the world football. Is a message the positive thing to try to score goals to be um, helps this kind of manager helps helps a lot and Jurgen is a big big, big example for of, of of this. So the other issues why should be a manager like uh, he want to win I want to win and our teams want to win, but when finish the the game it's over, so it's it's done. So it's it's my colleague. Uh, and and of course, after my career, I want to have a good relation with all the managers I had or we had. Being, of course, we are not a friend. Being, we are not close every day and being in touch. But the relation has to be there. You have to give good example for the, you know, for the more people are watching us. And, and we represent our clubs. And our clubs, we are, I think, for the amount of press conference we do every week. So we are an important image for this club. You have to show this for, for the benefit of these institutions, both institutions in this case for Manchester City. Okay, and, um, just on the Real Madrid game, there's been a little speculation in the last day or two about where it might be played. Have you been given any indication yet Mm-mm. where the game will be? No, I don't, we don't know. We are going to play where we decide uh, to play. Okay, thank you. Hopefully here, but in Manchester, but we don't know.